I'm wondering how much time had passed since the pressurization had started. I noticed that the date had already changed. I looked up in the top right corner. Yep, it's definitely changed. I mean, I can't see it anymore, but I could for a second. I waited on the hard floor for the treatment to finish. Did you sleep at all? Mayuna, 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 my love. What? Mayuna, sounds like a nice name. He was the only one of us who got any sleep. Jeez, he's so loud, that baka. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is another time where it seems like they're almost see-through? Not quite. If the lighting is dimmed on them, I guess because the light in general is turned out, turned off, they look dimmer, um, so they look a bit, they don't look as prominent, I should say. Probably because the light is off, but, okay, let's tell ghost stories or something. Slumber party! Yeah. Well, oh god, talking in your sleep versus snoring. Obviously, it's even worse if you do both, but, um, I think talking in the sleep is worse. Because if, if you hear snoring, and it lasts long enough, eventually you kind of get used to it. But if you're talking in the sleep, you'll never get used to that, because they'll be talking at random times, they'll say random things. Usually talking is louder than snoring, usually, so, nah. Consistency is a lot easier to get used to than, well, inconsistency, because how do you get used to it? So... Yeah, even if the snoring might at the at first be more annoying over time, and you can get used to it. But but someone talking in their sleep, ugh. Anyways. Knock <laughs> you! I can't sleep at all. Cuddle me. Ooh, I'll cuddle. Ooh, both of you. Mm. The guy she's talking in his sleep echo throughout the room. We were mentally drained, and the three of us were in no state to sleep. Well, that sucks. Okay, we'll sleep later. Together. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know. It was worse than that. Gradually, we had started to go mad. Why didn't we just wake him up and tell him? It's no use. Snoring and talking in your sleep aren't something that people can control. So is he doing both, or is he just talking in sleep? Whatever the case is, neither is very, very good. But, yeah. You can't really control it, which sucks. But, um... It is. Well, no, you can control it to an extent. If you sleep on your front, um, sleeping you know, sleeping on your back especially is bad for snoring. Um, if you're a snorer and you're with a bunch of people, I've mentioned this before, and you're on your back, the snoring is going to be way louder. Um, if you are on your side, and especially if you're on your front, the snoring will be subdued um, just because of how air flows. So, yeah, just some pro tips for you there. Anyways, um... So they can control it somewhat. Talking in your sleep, I don't think there's anything you can do about that. But whatever the case, um, neither is great. and You can control them to an extent, but not completely. We could tape his mouth shut, <laughs> then, then there'd be no airflow. That would wake him up for sure. <laughs> Even better, we could drape a wet towel over his face, or over his crotch. That'll, that'll teach him. Uh, wouldn't that kill him? <sighs> yeah, you're right, unfortunately. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he the only one that gets to sleep on the bed? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. You'd think he'd be the man- you, you, The manly, nice, correct thing is to let the females sleep on the bed and let them do it together and watch them and be like, Ooh, it's getting hot in there. But me and Takeshi on the floor together would be weird, but, uh, you know. It'd be weird if a guy and a girl were alone, at least when it's a guy and two girls. Um, I don't know. That's, I guess, uh, it's arguably less awkward. Arguably. Anyways. It, a guy and a girl on the bed, though, would be probably more awkward than a guy and two girls together on the floor, I feel. Because it's a bed, it's that, it's that bed atmosphere. Um... But I guess two girls on the bed and two guys on the floor wouldn't be so bad. Uh, I mean, I, I either way, I'd be on the fucking floor, but, yeah. Uh, knock you, let the bed have a swift kick as she said this. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh, really? More. More. 
please. I like it. Right. There. Uh, Mewn. Muna, yes. Who is this Muna person? And she shamelessly carried on like that, looking happily asleep. I wonder what kind of dream he's having. Let's make it a wet dream. Let's do it. Put a wet towel on his crotch. That'll teach him. Who knows? <laughs> Probably. I bet it's something sexual, judging from his stupid expression. Well, yeah. Um, given our situation and how many girls are around, I wouldn't be surprised if he's having something like that in his sleep. Although, if he is, there's a good chance he's having a wet dream without us uh, trying to interfere. Uh, quick, check his crotch. You reached out toward to catch his face and pinched his cheek. Oh, re wow, really? Rude. And then... You... 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 Yeah. You... I love you, come closer to me, you... Or, oh... <laughs> Uh, did he wake up, or a freaky coincidence? Huh? 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 Uh. <laughs> Smack. Numia, Numia. That's just creepy. That is just creepy. Uh, well, it's official. He wants to use, uh, body. But I will not let him have use, use body use. I will save use body. So use body can be my body. What? Seems like he's talking in his sleep. Well, yeah. He's not dreaming of, na of you, is he? Uh, wait, dreaming of me? No, dreaming of Nakyu. Oh, okay, that's less creepy. But wait, no way! That would be crazy. No. Get his own, get his own girl. Get his own OTP. Stop that! There's no way! <laughs> oh. You. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Don't do that! I was joking! You're not allowed to scream to dream of you's body. Yeah, you's body. Mm. Hey, that's my dream! Get out of get out of my dream! You're stealing it! Uh Kashi! How dare you have dreams about me? <laughs> How dare you? Those are my dreams to have! Uh, did I pick the wrong character to play as? No! I, I clearly, knock you. if anything, should, uh, by default, be closer to, uh, 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 Shonen than, than Takeshi, because they start together. They're together quite a bit for a long time. So, no! She is my dream girl! Get, get her out of your dreams! <sighs> what? And talks and talks like an old bag. Likes to gossip, Mune. <laughs> what, use body? You likes to talk and talk like an old bag. Oh, you're comparing you to old bag? If you knew about the old bag, that would be very offensive. But even not knowing, it's still kind of offensive. <gasps> huh? <laughs> what? That's funny. <laughs> oh. Oh, hurt me more. You. you. <laughs> what? Oh, he's being Sundere for you now. That's just wrong, man. That's just wrong. You dummy. Uh, wait, you dummy as in knock you, or you dummy as in you're a dummy? No, it's capitalized, so it's probably the name. <laughs> hey, 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 Takashi! Wake up! <laughs> knock you rage! Oh, uh, that's great. Oh, I love it when she's angry. It's so cute. Naki would grab hold of Takashi's collar and started shaking furiously. If we didn't stop her, she might have strangled him. Nah, it's not so bad, is it? Less competition. What? <laughs> Take it easy, Naki. He's just talking in his sleep. In a way, it's kind of like a compliment. He likes your body. <laughs> She's right, he doesn't mean anything by it. Probably not, anyway. He actually continued to blabber with a dumb, blissful look on his, on his... as he slept, oblivious to our troubles. Ooh, he's a heavy sleeper then. Uh, or he could just be in his deep, uh, sleep stage. Because sleep goes in stages. You start when you're awake, and then you go into a, kind of like a lull state where you're not fully asleep, but also not quite awake. 
like, but it's the kind of thing where you can be easily woken up by any little thing. Um, then you go enter basically regular level sleep, where it, it's still not too hard to wake you up, um, but uh, little little random things won't do it pretty much. Um, but things like shaking you awake and stuff that'll almost definitely do it. And then there's deep sleep, which it's very hard to wake someone up when they're in deep sleep. It's like the middle of the cycle. Uh, and then after that, it starts cycling. Like, after you're in deep sleep, you'll go back to being in uh, not-so-deep sleep. And then, it, sometimes it cycles, it depends on how long you sleep for. Sometimes it goes deep sleep, not-so-deep, then back to deep, then back to not-so-deep. And then finally it'll end on, like, you know, go back to your lull state. But, um, roughly. And sleep tends, there, there tends to be three-hour periods, intervals. Um, Uh, generally, uh, this isn't an absolute rule, but roughly after about three hours, you'll have gone through a full sleep cycle. So that'll mean um, you've started in your lull state, then you go into your uh, light uh, light sleep, then you go into your deep sleep, then you go into the light sleep, um, and then assuming you're still sleeping, that's like the end of the first cycle, I think, something like that. I could, I'm slightly talking out of my ass here, uh, but I know some things about it. And then I think when you go into like the next cycle, if you continue for sleeping like for six hours or something, you'll go back into deep sleep, and then towards the end you'll come back into light sleep. Unless you start to wake up, in which case you'll go back into the lull. It depends, I think. Uh, roughly that's what happens. I know there's like three hour sleep cycles, and there's light sleep, deep sleep. Uh, but And also, dreams happen mostly when you're in deep sleep, I think. Uh, but I think they can happen in light sleep, but mostly deep sleep. Whatever. Um, so yeah, that's just sleep knowledge. I haven't looked it up in a long time, though, so I, some of this is probably incorrect. But, anyways. I've had it. I have no choice but to get in the bed and sleep with him. What? Uh, I'm gonna take my clothes off. I can't sleep with them on. What are you gonna do? Uh, Naki put her hand in her pocket and pulled out the mark from before. Are you gonna draw on his face? She popped the cap off the pen and prepared to. <laughs> oh god! Oh, jiggly pop, jiggly pop. No, you're not going to. Mustache time. At least, that's the start. You bet I am. Oh, that's so mischievous. I mean, Takeshi can't control it though, to be fair to Takeshi, but hey, he's still my dream girl, so you know what, I'm okay with this. My girl, get your own. You're gonna chip his head off? Wait, what, you, what is he doing? What is she, I thought she was just drawing on his face. How is that dropping, draw, draw, how is that chopping his face off? Oh, not with a pen, yeah, exactly. Not with a pen? Oh god. Watch this, this is what I'll do. Oh god, this is getting getting bananas. Oh, on his eyes? Oh, that's pretty crazy. Usually it's the mouth. As she said this, you took the pen and started drawing big round eyes, like a girl from a comic on Takeshi's eyelids. Oh, that's fun. Oh. <laughs> you know, I... Oh, that reminds me. Um, sometimes people draw eyes in their eyelids so they can get away with sleeping in class. I don't know how well this really works, but I've seen it in shows sometimes, like, off the top of my head I'm thinking of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, where Jaden tried that a couple times, he'd, he'd draw eyes on his eyelids, but, yeah. Like, I don't know if that ever really works in real life, like, I don't, I don't think I've ever heard of anyone actually pulling that off, but, maybe. Maybe, maybe if someone was really s smart about it and got the eyes really detailed, but, um, yeah. <sighs> he still didn't wake up, he's definitely in deep sleep. Of course, different people have deeper sleeps than others. Um, and also, it depends on how old you are. Uh, generally, when you get really old, your sleeps aren't as deep. Um, but it depends, again, person to person. But I'm just talking in generals and relatives. What goes around comes around. Take that! <laughs> Not that, uh, I don't know, I feel a bit sorry for Takeshi. It's not like real talk. It's not his fault. You can't fully control snoring and sleep talking. However, except he could have slept on his stomach. 
does he know that he's a sleep talker? Has anyone, has he ever had to sleep with people before? Have they told him? If they've told him and he knows, he should have tried to be considerate and sleep on his stomach. In which case, he deserves some kind of punishment, maybe. I don't know. Even that's a little extreme. If he doesn't know, though, then we should have tried to tell him. We should definitely tell him after this, but, you know, so he at least knows for future. To try not to be such a dick when he's sleeping. Hey, dick on his nose! That'd be funny. Or even his chin. <laughs> it's a masterpiece. Uh, I shouldn't be liking this. This is just, this is this really is wrong. This is the kind of thing that if I was a snorer, which I'm not, but if I was, or a sleep talker, and someone did this to me, like I'd be like, what the fuck, man. Again, though, if I was one and I knew I was one, then I try to do something about it. So it's a give and take situation. That's funny. Let me try, Naki Senpai. Oh, we're just gonna have a fun art contest on his face. Scribble, scribble, scribble. What's next? What's next in the the art of Takeshi's face? Oh, now we got whiskers. We've now sealed the nine-tailed fox inside of him. It's official. Uh, Mayo sketched a whirlpool on Takeshi's cheek. Oh, is that supposed to be a whirlpool? Whatever, I'll, I'm gonna take it as... Actually, no, that still works. Whatever the case. Nin Nin Ninja? Oh! I don't know if this is what it's referencing, but like ninja. Naruto ninja nine tails fa ha 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 ninja And I wanna be a pirate. When I grow up, I'm gonna find the one piece. Oh hey now you're stealing my favorite show too, how dare you? What? First my favorite girl and then my favorite show. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard my guts hurt. Uh, oh but this is oh yeah right. Really? Kid is laughing at this? Kid always seemed kind of wimpy and, and, and so nice, like almost too nice. Like, I didn't think he'd be kind of this, what's the word, bratty? Mischievous? I mean, yeah, you're gonna laugh at it, but okay. So he's not a complete Mary Goody Goody Sue person. I didn't, not Mary Sue isn't the word I'm looking for, but Goody Goody. He's not a Goody Goody Two Shoes. He's willing to make fun of others, just. He's willing to stoop to the low levels, pretty much. So he's, he's definitely no Goody Goody. Uh, this, this is what I'm learning just now. Up until now, I thought he was a bit of a goody-goody, but clearly that's not true. So, I'm laughing so hard my gut hurts. Kid, why don't you draw something on this idiot? <laughs> You'll feel loads better. Revenge! It's the best thing! I thought the message was always supposed to be revenge is wrong, because isn't this kind of what reve revenge? In a way, this is revenge, and revenge is supposed to be wrong, right? Whatever, I guess we're having revenge. It, it's mini revenge, so it's okay. I don't know. I wouldn't. If I was in this situation, I wouldn't stop them. I wouldn't try to get into a fight with them. If they wanted to do it, I'd be like, whatever. But I wouldn't do it. Uh, I will. I mean, if, if they're in game, uh, I'll see what option they give me, if they give me any option. But All right, let's see. Um, Gosh, this is great. Oh, God, what am I drawing? Is it a dick? Oh, I drew meat on his forehead. Like the symbol for meat? Oh, I could just eat you up. Oh, gosh. Three of us kept taking turns doing graffiti on his face until there was nothing left and it was all black. His entire face went black. That day we lost an Asian. What? Scribble, 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 scribble. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Oh, God. And we even started taking off his clothes and scribbling on his body. It got really awkward really fast. But we didn't stop, because we had more things to draw, and we were running out of space to draw it. So we first we took off his shirt, then we took off his pants, and we actually had to stop ourselves before taking off his underpants, because we almost did. We are like, wait, it's probably getting too weird. But we still draw it on everywhere else on his body. Dozens of minutes later, oh god. Takeshi had been further transformed into a much decorated creature. Miserable, disfigured, and hard to describe. I gotta see this. Show me. SHOW ME THE MONEY! May 2nd, Tuesday. Something tagged? Good morning, everyone. Uh, wasn't really a good sleep, but... And also, that was only like six hours? Uh, that's not a full sleep. Aw, oh, man! Okay, so we're in the second day of May now, but... Aw, oh, man! You're not gonna show us? That's lame. Maybe they'll show us now, because Takeshi's waking up. Um, unless we washed it off. I don't know. I, you know what I would have done? The real revenge. Pour some water on his crotch. He'll think he wet himself and be like, Oh God, don't look! But, <laughs> uh... Morning, everyone. Did you sleep well? 
thanks to somebody. I was up all night. Yeah, fucking Takeshi. Is he still sleeping? Um, but, yeah, if I was to ever do any kind of, like, if I was with them in that situation, uh, and we were doing the trying to, you know, mischievous revenge, I think Water on the Crotch would be perfect if we could do that at all. Like, that's always the, that's always the funny thing, especially because we know he's having some kind of sexual dream. So if he remembers any of it, he'll be like, oh shit, that's when it happened. Oh god. But, um, yeah. Huh? You didn't sleep a wink? Mm, nope, not really. Nope. Because of this idiot. You lifted her foot and kicked the catch. She was lying on the bed. Mm. Uh. <laughs> I'd like a perm. Please give me a perm, Yuma. Use body. Ah! Again! Again, my body! <laughs> also, I just noticed her hands are freaking long in this picture. It's, they're probably just, uh, it's a weird uh, picture, like a weird way to look at them. That's probably not at all accurate to her hands, but from this point of view and this, the way they're showing them, they look freakishly long, which is, I mean, I don't mind, I don't judge. If you have freakishly long hands, I am a-okay -okay with that, you, but just the picture's making them look pretty weirdly long. <laughs> and she, even she's getting involved in the mischief. Wow, because she's looking at the face. <laughs> oh, oh, he's going to hate you so much. It looked like Sora had noticed the graffiti and was trying to keep from exploding with laughter. What happened to his face? Oh, that was a group effort. We, we decided to unite in a common goal. Revenge. We got so mad. We took turns drawing on him. <laughs> we scribbled the night away with this marker. <laughs> yep, the marker she used to open the elevator. Yeah. <laughs> it comes back. The um, Chekhov's gun, or baby boomerang, if we get to use it again. Um, but, <laughs> uh, yep, we got so bored we couldn't sleep, so we had to do something to, to spend the time, and that's what we chose to do. Hey, that's our excuse. It wasn't revenge. It was just that we had to find some way to kill the time. And in this way, it was it was also revenge at the same time, but the revenge was just coincidental, which is what makes it okay. Saying that, you laughed loudly. <laughs> Even so, maybe you went a little too far. We had a lot of time to kill. I think we didn't go far enough. Was it just his face? <laughs> No, no, we didn't sleep at all because this noisy beast. Well, that's what you get when you force them all to sleep in the same room. And hey, you hear that, Takeshi? You're not going to get with you. Because even if you did, she'd have to put up with snoring and she'd never do that. So yeah, screw you, man. Um, that, I, I do wonder sometimes, like, whenever a sleep, uh, like, if two snorers were to hook up, would they be, would they be okay with each other? Because, like, when you're snoring, you're sleeping, so you don't hear the snoring, so... Would you still be annoyed by snoring? I'm, I'm, I'm wondering. Would, would it be any easier to get to sleep if you're a snorer when snoring is going on? That, I, I, maybe... I don't know if that's a thing. I'd have to look that up. And also... Uh, or if not, if that's not the case, then I would think, if anything, it'd be impo like, harder than anything for two snorers to get together. Like, to actually have a good relationship, because they'd always... One of them would be getting to sleep first, and then the other one would be like, Fuck! 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 Um... And in a similar vein, if you get a snorer and a non-snorer, and the non-snorer always has a hard time getting to sleep initially, then the snorer's gonna get to sleep first, and they're gonna be like, fuck, wake up! But, yeah, snorers, they got it rough in the bed, man. They got it rough in the sack. We don't sleep in the same bed anymore, because I started snoring. Um, yeah. It's poetic justice. It's called revenge and mischief, and it's wrong. They've always taught. They always teach you uh, in all the stories. That it's always one of the number one morals. Revenge is wrong. <laughs> but uh, if you were gonna do it, you should have put water on his crotch. It would have been perfect. <laughs> so Sora, hold off on telling him for a while, all right? Wait for him to figure it out himself. You mean you want me to pretend that I don't notice? That's gonna be kind of hard for her because she's a lot more mature than we are. But. Uh, 
Well, maybe if, if we can persuade her that it wasn't completely just revenge. So you got that. That's it. Or maybe she can be bought in by our cute, innocent faces. Mmm. Mm. Mm. It's all white. Curlies. It's all white curlies? It's all white, like, maybe if he has a wet dream, a lot of that would usually be white. Curlies? Uh, I don't know where that's coming from. Oh, swirly, like the swirly waves and ninja marks on his cheeks. Enough of that, Sora. What about the decompression? You're all done, of course. Is there anyone that feels ill? I feel fine. Me too. Well, we were up all night, so I feel groggy. Yeah, we still gotta get our sleep on. How about you? What happened to you? Are we gonna ask that? And Takeshi? Oh, he slept like a fucking baby. As far as we know, he's fine. Just look at him. Uh, uh, math, social studies, science, English class, music. I can't play that. Uh, I don't want it. Don't send me back to school. It's too tough. Once was enough. No, don't fail me. Don't fail me. Can't you bump me up? Oh, I know it's like a 35, but I tried my best. Mm. Alright everyone, I would like to have you all gather in the control room at once. I saw that. I didn't- I wasn't paying full attention, but you, you- you switched twice. I think her first switch was to a funny face, probably. But anyways, control room. I'll go on ahead. Has anything happened? I'll tell you all about it in the control room. Now, if you'll excuse me. Gotcha. Sora ducked and left the pressurization chamber. Sora's face, as she left, was devoid of humor. Oh crap, something serious. We got Takeshi up and made for the control room. Maya was next to me. Oh shit. Ahead, uh, Naki and Takeshi were talking about something as they walked. <laughs> about when Takeshi was dreaming of her? You're my dream girl, baby. Yeah, well, uh, your dreams made me not sleep, so I scribbled on your face. I don't want you, bitch. Mm. Um, so he's t <laughs> I wonder how long until he notices. I couldn't quite make out what they were saying. Oh god, private conversation away from me. No! No! Don't do it! Eventually, Takeshi slowed down, separated from you, and came back to us. Oh shit. You got an idea what you was all miffed about? Uh, yeah. Uh, your sleeping kept all of us up. That's why she hates you. Also, even more so, you were fantasizing about Yu's body at least at one point. So, that was kind of like an invasion of her privacy. A little bit. Sort of. Sort of. I mean, you're free to fantasize about whoever you want. But when you're fantasizing and you talk in your sleep, and your thoughts kind of are an open mind, I feel like it's a moral gray area because I've always been a believer that you're free to think whatever the hell you want, and thinking something is not a crime. Um, if it was, I'd probably be in jail. But, um, it's not. You, you can think whatever you want and there's no issues. Uh, but when you talk in your sleep and you say stuff that you're thinking, it enters a moral gray area, because at one point, yes, now they know that you're thinking it, and it's clearly a bad thing, and you shouldn't be thinking it, because that's just rude and wrong, but you're not supposed to be saying it out loud. You shouldn't be letting it out. As far as you know, you're not letting it out, so they should let you think in peace? I don't know. It's a moral gray area, but, um... Yeah, you were sleeping, and it kept us up, and it pissed us off, but also for you, you were fantasizing about her body, which was... Uh, kind of gross for her. Because she wants me, not you. Who knows? You don't have any ideas? How would he? Does he know? If not, we should tell him. Um, that's always an important step. Yes, it's... It, yes, it, it sucks when, you know, a sleep talker keeps you up and stuff. But it's even worse 
if you never tell him that they, if you never tell them that they do it, they have to know that they do it to try to maybe prevent it at least a little bit. If if you never one ever tells them, you can't blame them for doing it. If I did, you think I'd be asking you? Well, then I'm gonna tell him. Let me tell him. I'd fucking tell him. You told me to look in the mirror, but <laughs> oh gosh, really? I wouldn't have told him that. I would have just waited to see how long until he finally found out. Huh? What? That's no fun. Yeah, I agree. It's no fun to tell him to look in the mirror. Yeah, what's knock you thinking? Splying the surprise. When Maya said that, it seemed like Takeshi finally figured it out. He wiped his face with his hand. What? What's this? He stared at the black ink on the palm of his hand. Damn, that girl! It was all of us together, don't blame just her. Looking his tongue, Takeshi hurried back up ahead to you. <laughs> Maya and laughed as we watched Takeshi and you exchange words. Uh, because we were kind of at fault too. Although Nakyu did start it, she was the leader of the operation, and it was her marker. That is fair. Tsugumi was in front of the control room. Oh shit, how did you sleep? Did you sleep? We didn't. She was leaning against the wall, her arms folded and facing down. Morning! Morning! With our greeting, Tsugumi slowly raised her head. Tsugumi, where'd you go last night? Uh, you're not gonna say? You got a secret headquarters because you're working for some secret government project thingy thing? Are you alright? Did you sleep at all? Sora was telling us about when there's a sudden change in air pressure. The bends? I know. Don't worry. I'm fine. Huh? Flashed through my mind. Oh. What? What, huh? It seemed like something about Tsugumi had changed from the day before. What, is she more talkative? More cooperative? What is it? Maybe it was loneliness, but her attitude and way of talking have been toned down. Wait, toned down? So, does that mean she's being less aggressive, or... Uh, toned down in what way? Or do you mean toned down from yesterday? Or do you mean toned down as in yesterday were toned down from what they are today? Whatever. You really fine? Mm. Yeah. Let's get inside. Yeah, she seems a bit more cooperative now. Sora's waiting for us. Uh, Tsugumi's urging Mayo and I enter the control room. 